Hey guys, it is Notch Network here, and I'm going to be showing you how to make your own multiplayer server for Minecraft. So, to do that, you're going to want to go to Minecraft.net, which is the Minecraft site. And basically, you're going to have to click, I already bought the game, you're going to click download it here. Below the game itself is actually the multiplayer server option. In which, if you're on Windows, you click on this. If you're on a different operating system, I think it's this one for Mac. But we're going to click the Windows one because I use Windows. And we're going to let it download, and I'll be right back. Okay, it is finished downloading, and we can hit Show in Folder, in which um, I can uh, cut this out from my Downloads folder, bring it over to the desktop. And we'll make a new folder for it. I already have a server folder on here, so I'll call it server2. I don't know where my server folder is. It's somewhere here. And we'll name it server2. And here we go. We can paste our server into here. Be right back. Okay, I've copied it over finally. And now what you're going to want to do is run this. So... Okay, and these just popped up right after I stopped uh, and hit pause. So you'll get this folder right here, the Elula, whatever the frick it says. You're gonna want to open that. You're gonna have to put this to true. That's what you need to do. So save that, close it out. And the Eula is like a terms of agreement for servers on Minecraft. So. Then you'll rerun this, you gotta let it run for a little bit and it will pop up all your server folders, settings, and whatnot. It takes a little while, so um, we'll be right back. Okay, we're back and um, it looks like most of them popped up. Um, I don't know, maybe I should wait a little bit longer. Actually, I think that's all. And we can close this down. Alright, so now you see you can have, you have your world, uh, band players, and all these stuff you'll need. So this is basically your server settings. Now this is kind of an important thing here. So as you'll see right here, this is your server port. That's going to be important if you want people to be able to join your server that are not from your house. So right now, as is, people can join your server uh, if they're at your house, but or on your network or something. So this is your MOTD. You can change this. This will appear on the thing, and that would be cool like that. So yours so far, our port is two five five six i. So um, yeah, we can just leave it as that, and I'll show you how to port forward um, your thing. So basically, you're going to search what's my IP. Wait for that to pop up, and this is obviously blurred out because, yeah, you shouldn't be able to be showing your people your IPs really on the internet. So paste and go. And then, if you have Verizon like me, this will be a useful tutorial for for you for port forwarding. So. You're going to want to look on the back of your router, and this is what you'll use to sign in. Yeah, this is what you use to sign in. So hold on, and I'll be right back. Okay, now that you're in, uh, now what you do is uh, you can go over to your firewall settings. And then you hit yes, you want to proceed. And then you see this tab right here. It is called port forwarding. You click on that. And which then you can click add. Or well, first you going to click uh, specify IP. And wait, wait, wait. Yes, you hit specify IP, custom port, and 
I don't think you have to put anything in for the IP, but for this TCP and the UTP, you put both, and the port here, it doesn't actually matter what port you put in, but it, it you can um, change it as long as your server thing is the same. So we'll put in 25565, and you can hit add. Wrong is what uh, I added the wrong IPv4 address. So to make sure you do the right one, you can check from the computer names it provides, or you can open your CMD, type in ipconfig, in which it will tell you your IPv4 right there, and that will give you the number you need to put in at the specify. You could either specify it or find it. If you specify, you just put in the IPv4 from the command prompt. So hopefully that helps you out. And watch then you can um you can start up your server. So you go over to your server file and then you start it up. And watch it will uh, start up like that. And that is cool and works. So then you have an option of connecting locally from there or your IP address and then your port if it's the default port 25565 you don't need one and then uh, has it opened up yet I don't think let's see there we go and then you can connect and anyone else in the world can connect from uh, this with um, with uh, the IP address so now I'll show you a few cool things you can do so basically well to up yourself you need to go into here type op without the slash and then type your username and I'm on ask Apache. so now I am opt on the server which is cool and all and uh, it will work like pretty good so I'll do a few more tutorials in the future, show you how to do color MOTD, how to add plugins to your server, how to switch up the IP address so it does not appear as the number IP address. See you guys in the next one.